Hi, today I'm going to show you how to open Samsung washing machine 7.5 kg front loader. This washing machine has some problem with spider blade. So here you can see the make and model. So I'm going to explain you our uh, entire process. You can see the model details in the picture. So next I'll be explaining the precautionary measures. Please use proper helmet and eye protector, the glass and gloves and pair of shoes. So these are very important precautionary measures before starting your work. This is the washing machine. You can see all the configurations as a broken one. And I'll be showing you all the information for your reference. This is the back side of the washing machine. There are uh, two screws that we need to remove on the top. Then we can lift the top part. So first I'm going to remove the top two screws. The one is removed. So the other one is I'm removing. Yes, both are removed. Don't try to pull it directly after removing the screw like that. Don't do that. So what you have to do is pull it back and then go to other side. There is a small space you can put two fingers and just lift it. So that is the easiest way to remove it. Else you may break the system. So I am showing it again. You can just do that. So now we need to remove the soap mixer. The simple, you can't pull it like this. Um, you can see there is a blue button. So you need to press that. So press that and take it out. Then it will come out. So while putting it also, you need to put it like this. So while removing, don't pull hard. Let me break. Don't put, don't put too much of pressure. So press this and then pull it. Then it will come out something like this so you can see the top view there is a load balancer on the top as well we are going to remove that and also you can see all the connections we are going to disconnect uh, from the motherboard that is a dashboard uh, that's a control board as well so and also we need to separate out all those wires and also before removing the front board you need to uh, remove those screws So I have removed the top load balancer. You can see the view now. So this is the control board. You can see all the connections. If you need, you can take a photo of this so that you won't be confused while fixing back. This has uh, multiple connections. You can see the closed look. So we need to remove those connections first. So you can see the front view we are going to remove or disconnect now. the front view using, uh, so you need a uh, screwdriver because i'm using because this is a little bit of rusty so my you can see that i'm trying to remove if it is rusty you can apply some oil or something like that something similar to that you can see the board so this is the control board. You need to disconnect all the wires. There is a notch in that. You can press that notch and pull it out so that that comes out. So don't try to remove blindly by applying a force because that may break. So what you need to do is you need to press the notch. You need to find out where is the notch and then press that and then pull it. So that is the way easily that comes out. Make sure all the connections are disconnected and also of course the main connection you should not be given the main and it should be disconnected as well even on earth so all the connections are uh, disconnected now you can see now you can try to remove the front panel from the front uh, it is a bit tight but don't try to apply too much of uh, force uh, just kindly just just apply a little bit of pressure and pull it towards your side 
so that it comes easily. You can just have a look how I am doing it. So it is ready to take it out now. There is no more screws on that. And uh, you can see the control board is uh, completely fine. You can see the control board. So we just removed the control board from the front panel. We separate it. Now the next video will be removing the soap mixture. This is the control box. You can see. This is the inlet controller I am going to remove now. The blue is on the left and white is on the right. So this is the soap mixer. This has water inlet controller uh, and uh, there are a couple of screws to be removed. You can see the water inlet controller now. So this is the water inlet controller and that's just now I removed that, separated from the main box and there are two screws to be uh, removed in order to remove the soap mixer. You can see that. I have separated the soap mixer. You can see that in the picture, in the video. And that has uh, some uh, connection as well. So this is the water uh, that goes from uh, soap mixer to the drum. It belongs to inlet water pipe and also that goes to uh, liquid so we are done with the, removing the top part separating it out now we need to remove this back side door i'll show you how to do that in a minute so you need to undo this screw you need to remove these screws sorry this one there are four, four screws so you need to remove these four screws okay so i have removed the back end now you can see the motor and the spinner is connected so we need to remove uh, this entire stuff so you can see the connections so i'm going to remove all those i'm going to this uh, i am going to separate those things so you can see this belt, so carefully I need to remove the belt, you can see this very closely. So one is our thing, other one is a power supply for the motor and you can see that. We will separate those things, first we need to remove the belt and remove the connection and separate the motor and then uh, we can remove the uh, <clears throat> we can remove this uh, entire uh, drum so that is the next step you can see there is a belt attached the spinner so what you need to do is in order to remove use some uh, screwdriver type or similar to that and just <coughs> turn it and make sure that that belt comes out don't apply too much of pressure pressure so gently apply a little bit of pressure and then turn the wheel then it should come out that's what i'm going to do now so you can see that i applied and the belt is out you can see the motor and spin spinners are separated so you can also see the connections electrical connections You can have a closed look of the connection. This has a motor connection as well as the heater connection and another one is earth. I have separated the connections basically disconnecting. You can see uh, all those things. That is the face and that is the motor connection as well as the other connections. And also there is a tag. You need to remove the uh, tag as well and uh, then you can separate the motor drum with the motor. 
Yeah, I'm in the process of removing all the wires and separated uh, those cables and uh, you can see all the connections are disconnected and the last one is the motor connection. There is a notch, press that notch and pull it. If this doesn't come apply a little more pressure, that is the way you can uh, remove those connections. Yeah, it's out now. You can see that. You can see all the disconnected uh, piece of wires as well as other items. Now we will be removing this front panel first. Then we can remove the drum safely. So there are uh, five screws. You can see one screw here. Another one is here. And the last one is here. No, no, it's not the last one. Yeah, that's the fifth one. First one, second one, and remaining screws are on the side. So we'll remove and screw all one by one. There are five screws. You can see two are uh, with sharp edge, and other two, other three are not sharp edge. So the sharp edge goes to the top side. Here I have removed all the screws and the normal screws without sharp edge that goes to the bottom side. Now I'll be removing the front part. I'll show you that after removing it. I need to unscrew this. And then I can remove it. Before removing the front panel, we need to separate this rubber seal. You can see this rubber seal. Uh, this is actually uh, tightened with a spring. You can have a close look. You need some screwdriver to lift it up. And if you remove from one end, then you can easily remove it from all the sides. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I just uh, removed uh, this spring you can see the spring so you can after removing the spring you can remove the front washer see this has something spring here so the spring so this is the one which is locking this item you can see this I can show you how to remove this this is simple So this front panel is separated now, you can see this, now I will remove the front panel. You can see I have separated the front panel and also I will show you from other side. These are the screws of front panel, I will be showing you that now in a minute. Three in the bottom, two in the top. This is the front panel, so we need to remove this heavy a metal it's not a metal it's like a rock that is load balancer I'll be removing that as well now there's an extent so that I can remove the drum otherwise it will be very heavy you can have a look how it looks there are three plus three um, six screws big screws better we will mark it left and right so that there won't be any confusion at later stage and also the top one I'll be doing that and showing it to you so next. I have marked top and left side and as well as top and right side so you can see this so that it is convenient also I have marked top top and there is a mark so that we can put it in the right place I have removed the left side balancer. The similar way I'm going to remove the right side balancer as well. The thing is, just before removing the last screw, after removing two screw, hold it firmly. Otherwise, this this is bit uh, this has bit weight, so be careful. It should not fall down. Either it will break or you may hurt if it falls on your uh, foot or something. So 
this is where you can see this I'll show you again so you can see this I just removed with three screws with nuts there is no nut only yeah only nut no bolt so other side just looks something like this so let's do the next one so I have removed the concrete blocks of the drum from both the sides you can see that so here is the the drum with six screws it's a little heavy be careful don't put it on your foot or something like that by mistake that may damage your foot be careful before the trick is start from the bottom remove both uh, bottom uh, screws and finally remove the top of one before removing the last thread just hold it firmly on your left hand and then if you have a support you can ask someone support and then you can remove the concrete balancer so next we will be removing the drum before removing the drum make sure that we have to remove this thing this spring and there is one two shock absorber so here you can see that and here also there is a shock absorber so before doing that remove this part and then uh, this just lift it and uh, separate the shock absorber so one put it inside here and then put outside the other one and then remove this balancer and also i think this also should be detached from here yeah this looks like a simple one you can do that right now i need both hands that is almost done so that is the final one we'll do i'll show you after removing that first i'm going to separate the valve here and then i'm going to separate out the shock absorber both and then i'm just going to separate this item that is two springs and then we can lift it shall we go in case if some water clog or something has cluttered here so open this part so this is the part you need to open it and uh, clear the valve so you can see a lot of water will be there so if i remove that the water is coming out you can have a look so open this part and clean this out so if it is a small water you can drain the here as well otherwise tight it otherwise a lot of uh, water will come out so you can see this so this can be this part can be accessed from outside itself you don't need to remove the entire uh, uh, um, cover if there is a if there are multiple reason either water clog or uh, some small uh, cloth can go and sit inside or uh, sometimes the motor problem if motor fails then also the water outlet doesn't work this is the wastage water which goes from uh, here it, it collects here and uh, uh, puts outside so you can have a close look i have lifted drums shock absorber you can see i have separated it out and also i have separated the water outlet two shock absorbers a lot of dirt will be there so make sure that you clean everything before fixing it so you can see that it has come front now you can see that now i'm going to lift these two items so that it will be separated the drum can be taken out so that is the last next step so i'll be showing it to you in a minute just lift this drum it is just shaking you can see that it's shaking now so it is free from all kind of wires and these two springs so you can see the spring so i'm going to remove the spring I'm not going to remove spring i'm going to detach that in a minute so i have separated about this valve as well so the wiring is intact there is no i have not touched the wiring so i'm going to do that now so you can see now 
I have separated the drum out from the system so you can see that you can see still motor is attached I'm going to remove that next because even I don't think so no, not required because we can remove we can we need to separate it out you know to remove the steel drum we need to separate out this outer outside ca case so this is the one we'll show you in a minute how to do that you can see this so you can see it is not uh, spinner is not rotating uh, looks like the spider blade has got cut or something has happened that's why it is not rotating you can see from the front side as well it is not even rotating or not even moving looks like spider blade blade got cut let's see that in the next video so now we will be removing the motor <coughs> so there are two bolts so we need to remove these two and the washer as well I'm going to remove it now. Just remove it, keep it aside. So now we need to unscrew all these <coughs> things. So before doing that, let's remove this as well. We need a proper space if it's not working. We need to remove this as well. Now we will be removing this nut, so we need a really hard thing because it will be very hard. We need to press really hard. Yes, yes, it's coming. So, so it will be very tight. We need to make it tight as well. So this is the top. This is the nut and bolt. Just make sure that this is the top holder. Just to make sure that so like a T, so that there won't be any confusion at the later stage. So we can remove. This is the belt thread. So you can see this. I'm keeping aside. So the next is just keep the drum just above those two wooden blocks so that you have a good grip as well as the bottom part doesn't touch the ground so i'll keep it and show it to you in a minute so we'll keep this drum just on top of this like this so just kept it you can see this so it has a good grip now we need to remove all these screws so i will do it doing that now you can see how the thread is so it looks something like this from the side also you can see this So let's keep it and let's start removing the threads. The threads is basically. So now we will be removing all the screws. <coughs> I'll show you one by one. So 
is not there, so I better use a winch. So, loosen it, and then use this. Probably I'm using a different side, I need to use a different one. I'm using a screwdriver to remove this because looks like this head has gone. So I'm using a screwdriver. See, you can see the thread has gone. So I need to use a different one. So that is fine. Let's keep it aside. Separate one. Now let's remove the drum. So you can remove the drum. Okay, this should be other way. Okay, let's remove this drum. Yes, here is the drum. You can see. We need to wash this. Let's keep it aside. Now we have this shine. So we can remove this. So a lot of mud. You can see this has to be cleaned, not cut. So, the problem here is spider blade got cut you can see that very clearly so we need to replace the spider blade I don't think so we can get a spider blade alone so we need to replace the entire drum uh, fortunately I had another uh, washing machine we have a similar configuration with uh, a different problem so I'm going to use that drum on this machine so you can see here very clearly the bearing is uh, intact. There is no issues for the bearing, but spider blade, spider blade got cut. So we need to replace the entire spider blade with drum. We can see the spider blade look and feel. It is totally rusty. And also this is the bearing section. We can't use this. We have to replace the entire spider blade. 
this is the faulty drum spider blade with drum so we will be replacing this drum with uh, another similar drum you can see both the sections here one is a drum other one is a bearing section that is attached to the plastic outer cover the bearing so that's also very rusty so this is how it looked when I removed it from the plastic cover this is the new drum which I'll be using it so I got it uh, from another uh, similar configuration washing machine this drum is exactly the same configuration and size of the my other washing machine so I'll be using this drum uh, replacing basically I'm replacing uh, the old drum uh, with uh, my current washing machine that's what I'm going to show you now you can have a close look I have placed the drum inside the plastic uh, outer drum and going to uh, tighten the screws now so you can see that now I have placed all the screws properly and tighten the screws do opposite sides first so one that side and other ones on this side so now let's do it from here so it is a This is done, this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done. So one is left out here. That's also done. Yeah. One more is left out. That is here. You can have a look. See this? Now I will place this <coughs> inside the washing machine. That's the next step. Now I'm going to place the drum inside the washing machine cover. So better put it from the front, not from the top, because that will be wrong. So that's what I'm showing here, and uh, use it from the front. Just hook this up. So 
we have placed the top uh, two, two springs are uh, attached to the drum. Now we need to place the bottom part that is with shock absorber. So one I have placed and I'm going to show you other one how to place it. You can have a close look. So now both are placed. Both are placed now. You can have a close look. One thing to remember while placing the rubber uh, seal is there is a hole here. There's a small square hole. You should match with the rubber seal uh, hole. There is a rubber hole uh, seal as well. Here. So these two should uh, match. So place this. So then only you can. Uh, screw tighten it this that is most important thing you can see these two should match okay i'm going to place it and then show the video you can see how Tightly it is fixed. I'm going to put the washer as well. You can see this. I'm going to insert this now. So this will be on the top side. So that the other side will be on the bottom side. Put it inside. So this should go inside of this. This will be previous, this way. <coughs> so start from the bottom. Put it inside. So put it inside. Make sure that that's it properly. So I'm going to tighten this. You can see I have matched it. You can see the hole here, and also you can see that hole. So those two should match each other. Otherwise, water may clog here, and there will be a leak. So, so I have tightened the screw and nut, the spring screw. So you can see now it is properly tightly fit, and you can see this here. This is the hole, the water, extra water that comes here, and that goes through this hole. That's very important. Make sure that those two matches each other. You can have a close look. So it should be this much tight. You can, have, you can see this outside. So this is how it should be. Now I will be placing the load balancer on both the sides. So this has some weight. Be careful. Don't uh, push too hard or don't apply too much of pressure. Place it gent gently and then put the screw at least one at first. Otherwise it may come down. So that's how I'm doing it. You can see that and place all or rest of the screws the similar way I'm going to tighten it it will be clockwise get the proper um, 
wrench or a proper spanner to do this job. It will be easy. See that? I'm tightening the screws. Just tightening the last screw. This nut head. So once the left side is done, then we need to place the right side one. So you can see I have marked left and right. So it will be easy. Just place it, hold it with other hand, one hand and uh, that is better uh, if it is standing then fine then put the screw on top first or the bottom that doesn't matter but make sure that uh, it is placed properly put all three screws Then again, the clockwise to tighten the screws with nut head. Tighten all three screws with the equal tightness. You can see in the picture. How I'm tightening it. You can see how I'm doing. Yeah, that's better. So, one more is left. This is the last one. almost done with placing the load balancer this is a concrete weight actually this has some weight surely it is each one maybe 8 to 10 kgs that's what I'm I feel yeah it is tightened yeah I have placed the blade and now I'm going to make it more tight I already made it tight but uh, make sure that it is completely tight so you can hold it like this and pull it from other hand so that will be very tight make sure that it is very tight so it should rotate like this you can have a look so I have placed the <clears throat> motor as well I'll show that in very close look so here is the main connection for the motor and here is the earth and here is the uh, connection for the heater and this is the uh, on of uh, another connection for the uh, drum so I have given all the connection and made it tight so make sure that everything is tight should not be loose and also this is the motor I have uh, fixed it here and you can see the close view so I will show you very close view you can have a look So this is how the connection looks, I will showing you a very closed uh, view, this is the other one and this is the heater connection, this is earth and all those things, wirings you can see, you can see this, that is the motor, it is tight and this is the connection from motor to the drum using this belt you can have a see the first look it's the belt and make sure that this bolt is very tight that's very important now we will be closing the back view i mean back drum as well I'm showing that
now I will be uh, closing the back sheet so there is a grip here so we make sure that it goes inside and also the grip should come inside and this is a simple now I will go and put back those four screws so now I will be tightening all the screws slowly that's done so that is done. All four screws tighten. So I have placed the top balancer as well and tightened. And uh, this also I have made the connection, uh, given the connection and tightened here. You can see this and this is i need to correct it now i need to place this and uh, make it tight press this clip and put it back side and put it inside put it inside sorry i think i missed it so what you have to do is uh, this clip put it back side something like this it was it was something like this Put this clip back side and then hold it properly okay now put this clip back press this clip and put it back so so it is tight this is how it looks first for this drum give this uh, connection so make sure that that is properly connected This is a lock switch, and once it is connected, keep it so open this box so that it will come out. Now we need to place it from the top, something like this, and we will tighten the we need to tighten the screws. So now we have just place this but I have not tightened the uh, screws so what we need to do is uh, we need to put this back properly <coughs> so it should come uh, outside I'll show you how to do that so after doing this let it go inside so there is a grip so you can see this grip so this has to go to inside little tricky but once it latches it will be easy so the similar way we need to fix all the sides and uh, put the bottom screws first and then fix this i'll fix those bottom screws first i have uh, placed this outer bar you can have a look very closely this is very tight now now i need to put the spring for this see this is very tight now i'll show you that so this is the spring make sure that this part is on the bottom side and uh, put it from the top or anywhere that's not a problem so put it like this <coughs> and start from here as well let it go inside you can see there's a spring so it stretches Difficult use some screwdriver or something like this so that will be easy. Make sure that it is on the other side. This is placed, this is tight. Make sure that this is properly inside. You can see this. <coughs> This is properly inserted. So this part is completed. Now we will be using, we will be placing this control board. Close this. Now we will be placing the control board.
So make sure that this is uh, straight and uh, something like this should be straight. Make sure that it goes to straight. On the side. Screws. <coughs> so you can have a close look. And also, I have placed uh, uh, other <coughs> balancer. Now we need to put the connections back. So make sure that this goes here. okay and this one should go to here this connection and this one is on top okay that is connected have a look and this should go to there's a six pin here you can have a look So that is placed and there are other two more connections so this should go to here okay you can see I've given all the connections the close look so the two wire and again there is another two wire and uh, this one it's easy actually you can see based on the length and uh, another connection here another one single connection here another one will be here so the connection is somewhere here you can have a close look inside so there is a white and blue wire so this is the connection you can have a look so overall it looks something like this see this connections so all the connections have given so the board is ready now we will fix the top plate now I'm going to show you how to fix the front panel with screws there are total five screws in the two are uh, from the soap mixer so just put those two screws and tighten it use some screwdriver uh, to get it easily done you can see how I am doing it Maybe a slight adjustment is required to go to put the screws. Just align it properly if required. Then you can put the screw inside and tighten it. See that I'm doing it using screwdriver. It's easy. So make sure that front two screws are tightened first to the soap mixer. Make sure that there won't be too much of gap between the front panel and uh, soap mixer. In that case, water may a little bit leak. So now we can put the top screws. You can see how I'm putting all the top three screws. So one in the side, other one is center, other one is in the next, cent next side. Basically other side. Those are small screws compared to other two screws. Just tighten it either using a drilling a driller or a driller screwdriver or a manual. I'm just doing it manual, it's more comfortable for me for this kind of work. So, two are done, and I'm going to do the last one. You can see once it is done, then front panel is fixed, then it is ready to place the top panel.
So the front panel is tight now. It is fixed with all the screws. Now we need to place the top panel. That is our next activity. Make sure that everything is tight and also have a close look uh, for any loose, loosely coupled items. So let's uh, keep the top plate. So this will be the front side and that is the back side. The trick is just keep it just below, so this side. And in both are in that right direction. placing the two screws so finally two screws one goes here if required apply some uh, rust removal for the safer side so I'm applying some so rust removal you can apply any time but this is the uh, removes the corrosion helps to reduce the corrosion. So put this. So it is done. So we will be now switching on and we'll see how it works. Uh, the last item is to place the soap dispensary uh, controller or uh, box. So just put it inside and make sure that. It is properly set. Now let's uh, power on. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's switching on. So let's put quickly to spin, make sure that everything works. The brain works, spin works. So you can see. So let's put into uh, spin mode. So it locked. It's doing something, I can hear the sound. Yeah, it's spinning now. It's spinning. Can have a close look. You can see the spinning. I'll switch off now. There is no sound or anything, it's very smooth sound. It's rotating at 1000 RPM. is ready. You can have a look, close look. Finally, I made it this washing machine working. I'm feeling really happy. I hope uh, this video will help you as well. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe this channel. You will get more videos. Thank you.